Hi guys, welcome to another poly process video. This time I'm making a second 12x12 12 12 page using the um, kit I got from Ruth. So I added a couple bits from my own stuff for this page because I like to use white cardstock as a background. So I cut down a 12x12 12 12 piece of cardstock. Um, it wasn't even, I think I just eyeballed it. So uh, it would probably be about 10 inches by 11 maybe and then I've just roughed up the sides and punched out a couple of stars with some old Fiskars star punches that I had um, in my stash from years ago. I don't use them very much because I'm a little bit lazy with my tools and <laughs> I like to just get things out of packets and stick them on. So I use the punched out bits as well on the page. I like the look of white on white, so that was cool. Now I had to film this video in three parts and stitch them all together because I filmed it while we had a house inspection and a crying baby, so as you can imagine, it's a little bit hectic, so you'll notice as it transitions into a new video, so I'm sorry for that. Um, I just cut down a few of the papers out of the kit to create layers behind the photo and used a doily from my own stash. Um, I think the papers I've used are a mixture of Maggie Holmes, Amy Tangerine and Studio Calico, so that's quite a mix. And I used some vellum as well, which I've been using on every page lately. Yeah, now I'm just using my Heidi Swap Colour Shine. I think it's called Black Velvet. Um, mist, it's got a bit of shimmer to it, but it's awesome for doing ink dots because it's quite a runny texture and it makes nice big droplets. Now, I'm sorry for this. I'm going to do a close-up and it's going to go extremely out of focus. I'm not too sure what happened to my autofocus here. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry for that, but you'll see... A proper close up at the end. There we go, back in focus. Now I think the video cuts out in a second, and what I decided to do in between videos was stitch around the edges and stitch down the white stars that I put on the cardstock, which you'll see in a second. Yep, so now I'm back, and you can see the stitching, and I've stitched over the stars, including stitching over a wet ink dot. But I'm okay with it being imperfect. I'm not a perfect scrapbooker, so that's totally fine by me. Yes, I don't. I like to rough up the edges, just so it's not completely flat. I'm a big per, a big fan of texture and distressing, so I don't cope with things being flat very well. Now I'm working on the layers of my photo, behind my photo I should say. Um, I'm a little bit tired from a full on day, so sorry for the tired baby mama talk. I think my little boy's going through a growth spurt at the moment, and so it's been pretty full on. Which... Speaking of my baby, this page is actually a picture of him when he's one day old. Um, I wanted to scrapbook this one because he's holding my partner's finger, which I thought was really cute. Um, so this is going to go in his Project Life album alongside his one month old photo. Because in each month of the Project Life album, I'm putting two 12 by 12 pages in, so this will be one of the two. And the first one is the one I did for the last proper process video. So, they're the two layouts. I'm just using the Amy Tangerine foam title. God, these are awesome. I so want another packet of these. I love the brush script. I know some people are really over it now, but I'm not. I've only just started, so I think it's pretty cool. So now I'm just at the part of embellishing and finding out where things are going to go. These are the Studio Calico gold tipped leaves. 
And how cool are they? I need another packet, I think. I think I may have actually ordered a packet. I've been a little bit crazy with my scrapbook shopping lately, so shame to say I have no idea what's coming in the mail because I've been ordering way too much stuff. I think this is what's coming with being at home all the time with a baby and getting slightly bored and yeah, internet shopping is a great relaxation thing at the moment which is not so good for the bank account balance but anyway so back to my layout I was just playing around and trying to figure out where things were going to go um, I used a little label from the Dear Lizzy sticker book which has um, like perforated sheets of stickers and these are the wood veneer stars from the Studio Calico Essentials line which I think are really cool, I've got two packets of those you can add them to everything, they're just so versatile I think I've kind of actually used a very similar layout design to the last layout and I didn't actually notice until I started recording the voiceover for this video but it kind of works along, I suppose, diagonally across the page, but it's the opposite way to the last layout. I must be in the groove of doing a certain thing a certain way and get stuck with it. But that's alright with me. Whatever works. Just use the stop punches again with some vellum and white card stop because I wanted something to base the XO on in the top. Um, top right corner with a gold geotag also from the Studio Calico Essentials line so all these bits are in the kit apart from the white card stop, the vellum, the doily and I think I added, yeah, I had the studios, they're not, the, they're not Studio Calico, they're my mind's eye wood dots they, I added, I added those as well and I'm not sure that I think Ruth did say that she was going to get some for the show which I need to refrain from buying because I have 10 packets of them and that's probably enough and I should stop being so greedy anyway this is the last bit where this is the third installment of the video and I printed three lines of journaling on vellum which I've become a little bit obsessed with doing lately so I just stick it down with normal double sided tape because you actually can't see it so that's pretty cool and it gives it the journaling a nice soft look rather than being harsh because I used to print it on white computer paper but I really like the vellum look a lot more and I'm making sure that I journal on every page because I want I want the stories to be told especially because it's Elijah's first year baby book I want to put this in his baby box and I want him to look back and be able to read about it and I want to make sure I've got the dates and so I'm being a little more vigilant with my journaling being that this book is for him which I wasn't I never used to be I never used to journal on pages and I used to struggle to even put a title so yeah anyway this is what I call done I'm really happy with it um so I hope you like it and I hope you if you did have did, were lucky enough to get one of these kits that you've had fun playing with it or I've inspired you to get it out and use it so thanks so much for watching bye